Okay, so we have some examples for valid and invalid S3 bucket names. And the reason I really want to hit this home is that you might have exam questions which ask you whether uh, a bucket name is invalid or not. And you should be able to spot one if there's something that looks kind of funny with it. So let's go through it. The first one will be this one where you have my bucket hyphen W123. No issues there as that is a valid name. Uh, this one is not valid because it is, is in the format of an IP address, as we said, is not allowed. This one is not allowed because it contains a uh, title case or up, some uppercase characters in there. This one is not allowed because we have a repetition of two periods. This one is okay as it doesn't have numbers in it, but it is totally fine in terms of length and size. This one here is not allowed because we can't have that XN uh, hyphen hyphen in the front of it. This one is not allowed because it has an underscore, which is not a valid character. This one is valid because it is. It just looks like the other ones. This one here, S3 hyphen in the front there, is not valid as it is not allowed. Uh, Test.bucket.data, that is totally fine. Then we have new hyphen bucket hyphen S3 alias. So that one is uh, not valid because of the uh, ending on there. And the last one is totally okay. So the only thing I didn't show here was like funnier characters, like maybe at signs and stuff like that, which would not necessarily be valid. I don't think you can do that. So you can't do at signs, you can't do pounds, you can't do dollar signs. So just understand that I didn't point that one out, but um, it's very simple in terms of what you can utilize. And hopefully that really hits at home. But just try to remember the three rules, which is uh, no uppercase, no underscore, no spaces, okay? We'll see you in the next one. Ciao.